Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have got my weekly entire house clean where I go through my whole house and get it cleaned from top to bottom. My house was in such need of this as you're gonna see. And um, I hope that this gives you a ton of motivation. I wanted to let you guys know that today's video is sponsored by EnviroCleanse. EnviroCleanse mobile air system uses hospital grade technology to guarantee the air in your home stays as clean and pure as possible. It covers up to 1,000 square feet with a quiet, efficient, multi-speed blower that you can adjust to meet your needs. The nice thing that I really love is the low setting is so quiet, it's basically silent. There's no tools required for maintenance and the filter replacements are always available and easy to purchase on their website. It removes and neutralizes chemical odors, allergy triggers, and mal odors in the air. It combines certified HEPA filtration along with their patented EnviroCleanse air cartridge to remove airborne pollen, dust, odors, mold, gases, fragrance, VOCs, allergens, bacteria, and more. You guys know that I am really big on keeping my home non-toxic, chemical-free, and just green overall. The thing that really drew me to these air filters is they have a patented earth mineral technology that destructively absorbs and breaks down the VOCs and chemical compounds. We all know that HEPA filters are already great, but stacking this technology along Along with them makes this thing one of the absolute best air filters you could ever purchase for your home. This is one of the greatest air purifiers for mold or mildew on the market. Since our home is a more open floor plan, I really love that this can cover the area that we are most in and I don't have to worry about getting multiple units or having smaller units through my home. Since it's on wheels, I can also move it around as I move decor around and place it in places where it's unseen. The EnviroCleanse air cartridge is designed to last six months. The HEPA filter is designed to last 18 to 24 months. EnviroCleanse always comes with a 30 day, no questions asked, money back guarantee, and also a five year mechanical warranty. Although the EnviroCleanse filters out a lot of things that we would never notice or never see. One thing that I'm so conscious of now that we live in a more southern state is the pollen that is a really big deal in the spring and the effects on our health that it has. So having something like this in constant use is definitely a plus. If you check out the link in the description box, you can find out even more information about this amazing air filter. I highly recommend it. We've been using ours for a while. I've done my research and this is a brand that I would definitely trust. As you can see, my dining room was a bit of a mess. So while we were at my mom's, as you guys saw in some of my last few videos, we made some homemade Play-Doh and the girls have been having so much fun with it. But this day I was really busy and they were having so much fun playing with the Play-Doh and it was keeping them so occupied that I just kind of left them go, left them just have fun with it. And it ended up getting a bit dried out because like I said I was busy so I decided you know what I think we're done with this batch I'm going to throw it out and that's the one nice thing about making your own play-doh is it's so inexpensive and you can make a lot of it at one time so I'm sure we'll make another batch really soon but it was a great project to keep them busy for a while
lemon oil is my go-to oil for like markers and anything like that i've even seen people take off permanent marker with lemon oil so um the girls had gotten a little marker mark on this and it came right off i grabbed my enviro cloth and my window cloth and went to work just getting the glass cleaned up in these rooms the other thing i did was i wiped down the doorknobs and just kind of the door areas where we put our hands as we come in the house as you guys know my norwex claws remove 99% of bacteria so I love being able to just quickly go through the house and disinfect and it just makes it so much faster to not have to spray something or wait for it to remove the bacteria Recently, I've gotten a lot of questions about these chairs and you know if I like them, if I think they're comfortable. I think they're comfortable. I actually have one at my desk that I sit on while I edit. And the thing that I also love is they have an enamel kind of coating, so they're really easy to wipe down. I always do. Never thought I would jump. Oh, what a fool. But if I fall, I will get up. I got my bucket filled up with a lot of my cleaning supplies. I started doing this and it's just so much easier to move through the house and take my bucket with me and I can just grab the tools that I need as I go. I went ahead and used my Norwex mop on my entry area way here and the laundry room. Um, I say this pretty often, but I just think it's a valuable piece of information. But a huge percentage, I think it's like 85% of bacteria that comes in your home, like from your shoes being out and about, comes in the first four feet of your front door. To do my stainless steel, I just use an Enviro cloth. I was using this blue one this day. And um, then I go over it with my window cloth. I just feel like it's a great combination. Norwex also has a stainless steel cloth, but this works just as well in my opinion. along 
we have been totally enjoying our patio. If you guys missed it, I did a decorating video and decorated our small patio out back and just got a few fun things. Went shopping, got some things from Hobby Lobby and just kind of spruced it up a little bit. I'm sure I'll be adding to it as the summer goes on since we'll be out there so much. And right now I'm on the hunt for some sort of insect repellent machine. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure what they're called, but I know that they're like kind of electronic and they repel insects. It's something that we could hang outside or put on the table so if you guys use anything like that and it works well for you let me know in the comments what you use and why you like it To clean out my sink lately, I've been putting some baking soda, some lemon oil, and then a few squirts of the Norwex dish soap and scrub it all down. And then I wipe it out with an Enviro cloth. You could take the extra step of using the window cloth to polish it, but this is just really works well and it just gets wet again, so I don't usually polish it. This is something I haven't talked about in quite a while, but a lot of you probably already know this if you've watched for a while. Some of you that are new here may not know this, but this floor is actually contact paper. Um, it's a little renter's hack. Like I've said recently, we are really looking into buying this home at some point, but right now we do rent it from the owners. And um, the floor that's underneath of it is a laminate floor, but it was really coming apart and kind of difficult to keep up with. So I decided to go ahead and try this out. Just a little bit of a change, you know, try something fun. And it worked out perfectly. And the landlords were so impressed with how it turned out. And we did pull some of it back. I do it pretty much on a regular basis just to check on it to see if it comes up. And it comes up perfect without residue on the floor. So if you're looking for a little renter's hack, if I can remember, I will leave the link below to the video when I actually did this. Also, this was so inexpensive to do. I can't remember the exact cost, but it did not cost much. I grabbed my dusting mitt and just rubbed it against my clothes to get that static electricity going on and then went ahead and dusted everything down. Right now I am doing a giveaway where I'm giving away three of these this month. Every month I do a little giveaway with some of my favorite cleaning products and I can leave the info below for that but I don't know what I would do without this little thing. It picks up so much and it hangs on to it and every time I wash it it comes out clean and it honestly picks up more than Swiffers do. Ask you all my questions, get to know you better. How can you be trusted? Will you take me for granted? And will you let me down? Before I'm too invested, you should take it easy. Maybe we could test this and work out our feelings. Baby, will I love you? Tell me, do you want me? And will you let me down? 
June is going to be a super busy month for me because I have a lot of decor and home related content coming for you guys. I am planning to work on our little bonus room that we have above the garage. I want to do a makeover on the laundry room and I've got a bedroom refresh coming up. A lot of stuff. So definitely stay tuned for all of that. This is the next day and this is my youngest daughter's room and everything was just a really big mess. We had had friends over so they were playing and got a lot of stuff out and then I had washed her bedding. The pink sheet that you see here is actually a waterproof cover and then I'm putting some Betty's bedding on top of it. We love our Betty's bedding for this bed in particular just because it's similar to a bunk bed and it's a style of bedding that zips up on either side so even my little two-year-old can zip up her own bed. You gotta listen up, listen up There's not a thing that I can't get from you Boy, I don't need that much, need that much How can I tell you what I wanna do? I never needed you to give me thanks I never needed gifts or diamond rings All I ever need, I need, I All I ever need is here I recently redid this room and I actually cut those letters out of poster board and put them up there. I think it's one of my absolute favorite DIYs I've done recently because it was so cheap, number one, and it turned out exactly how I wanted it to. This is another space that I would like to do a refresh on sometime soon. Um, I really want to do some of my faux shiplap in here and I just have a few other ideas that I think will work perfect in this little space. So I got my toilet bombs. I do have a video where I teach you how to make those. So again, I'll try to remember to link it below. And then I got my teal toilet cloth. I do like to keep some things separate as far as which Enviro cloths I use for which areas and toilets is definitely one of them. So I decided to keep the teal one for the toilets because that kind of helps me remember with the name.
I moved on to our master bathroom. This is the tub scrub. And if you guys want some of my cleaner recipes, you can head over to my oily page. I put a lot of cleaning recipes on there and Norwex related things. So I used the bath scrub mitt. I love, love this thing. I wish so bad I would have had it way longer than what I have because it eliminates the whole thing of having to use a cup to wash everything down and it cleans up so well. Even after we went to the beach and there was a lot of sand in the bottom of the tub, I just took the mitt over it and the fibers picked up the sand and I didn't have to like try to really rinse every little piece of sand down the drain because that thing did so well at cleaning it up. As you can see over to the left of the screen, I moved that little stand from the entryway the day before into our room just to hold my diffuser in here. I recently got that diffuser. It works so well and is really cute. And I don't know if I'll keep that stand in here or not, but for now it's doing what it needs to do until we get our nightstands. Thank you guys so much for watching today. I hope that this motivated you and got you up and going. If you're new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Give this video a like and I'll see you guys in my next video.